Right, here we are back in the workshop. <laughs> yes, this is this is like a little noise box I made. Two oscillators, speed control. These ones like I think distortion and mega distortion. And it's got this little sequencer uh, type chip built into it. So what it is, I'll show you. There's the back of it, and it's got two chips on it. I think one of the chip is a uh, got a hex Schmidt trigger in or inverter, and that produces the oscillators. And then another one is a chip that produces, I think, different frequencies and different clocks. And in the bottom, you can see, I put a little regulator in there. So I think I normally run this off 9 volts. And obviously with the regulator there, it means if you put slightly more than 9 in, it, the boards are still getting uh, the voltage they need. And it stopped working, and I think the, the problem was, hopefully, there's a lead come off the jack socket. So we're going to have a look at that and then we can see if we can get it working, see what the problem is. Otherwise it could be the regulator down in the box here smells a little bit. I don't know, I'm not sure about that. But we'll get it plugged in and we'll have a look. Okay, I think we've got it working. You can see the lights coming on. We'll plug it in in a minute so you can have a listen. Basically, the uh, the power socket I had installed, the, the centre pin has got a really thin, well, really thin centre pin and most plugs you require something a bit thicker so w when you put this or well, standard plug into it sorry it wasn't touching the center pin so it wasn't coming on these are a bit weird these ones these ones I don't know where I got them from uh, but what I've done I've just put a standard socket in there with a nice thick center pin so whatever one you use from a normal power supply it will work looking at the circuit I've got a 5 volt regulator in there so I think you can put anything from 5 volts to about 18 volts into the regulator and out of the other side it will give you 5 volts which drives the two chips and the, the two chips we've got CD40106 which is a hex Schmidt trigger which you can use to create oscillators so I guess this is what we don't have oscillator 1 and 2 and then we've used a uh, M74HC which is like a quad switch which I think this is what it's doing here it's switching and I've put a few and obviously the oscillators are going into the second chip and you can create patterns by switching different inputs and obviously I'll put these little switches in so you can switch stuff and then I've done a little circuit which sort of adds a bit of distortion on the end here. So what we'll do, I'll uh, try and put everything back in the box and then we'll plug in a jack socket and we'll have a listen. Okay, well we're all working again, which is uh, amazing. No, so the two faults, yeah, as we said earlier, I installed a, a socket which has got a bigger pin in so all the standard plugs that go in will, will work properly. And I also found out when I took it apart on this side where the audio comes in, one of the ground wire had come off the jack. Let's say we're putting about 10 volts in and basically the CD40106, the Smith trigger which you can use as oscillators, are these two here and they're kind of interacting with each other. And we've done a speed control as well, which I think could be another oscillator, we'd have to look at the circuit. And then we've got the, the quad switcher chip that produces all kinds of strange things and I've, and I've put some LEDs so you can see what's going on and these switches you can switch in and out and there's some more switches because I think there's possibly eight different combinations on each uh, of this of the quad switch chip and then uh, what I've done here is I had, when I was inside this sort of uh, damage control and major damage I think I might be there's some capacitors that just produces like a little distortion circuit what I'll do is I'll put the amp on and you can hear it and I'll flick around with some switches change the speed and then you can see what you think <laughs>
So there you have it, fiddling with the oscillators, the speed, the damage control as I call it, and the different sort of quantizing, sequencing things going on with the quad switch, you can get amazing sounds. But it's just a little box that's endless hours of playing to get weird sounds. Right, we'll see you in the workshop next time.